Good morning to all our investor friends. Uh, my name is Vishal and this is my colleague Ashish. Uh, together we are going to take you through our website and uh, our mobile app. So Ashish, uh, what do we have today? Yeah, sure Vishal. So let me quickly take you to our website. Okay. So you just have to type www.hdfcsec.com and this is how it looks. So this is our home page, Vishal, okay, pre-login, where you can see the various tabs on markets, research, product, personal finance, trading, right? And here, this portion, you can see our banners. So what are the latest upcomings that we put across here? Okay, now, if you click on markets today, so you just get an overview on what's happening in the market for the day. Right. Gainers, losers, all this information you can get over here, Vishal. Okay. Now, let me quickly tell you our research section as well. Okay. Now, under our research section, we have various picks that we provide. Like at present, you can see here special picks, which is Diwali picks and New Year pick, which are annual picks. All right. And then we have investment ideas, pick of the week. Pick of the week is a fantastic concept, Vishal, that we put a, come across every Monday. Okay. And we have a very good success ratio in that as well. Trading ideas, SIP ideas. So all this information you can check from the pre-logged in section of our website. All right. And here, if you see Vishal, this is an icon. So in case, so you know, if customer is unable to place order online, maybe they are traveling or not getting the internet network, then they can call up our centralized dealing desk. Let's call in trade. Great. So basically what Ashish is trying to say is, uh, we have multiple platforms for a customer or an investor to choose from places, uh, uh, whatever suits him. So we have uh, the website that we are taking you through. We will also be taking you through the mobile app. So customers can use any of these options to place an order. Alternatively, customers can contact uh, the relationship manager to place his orders. Or if you prefer the uh, telephone mode, we have the centralized dealing desk where you can just call in and place your order as well. Right, Vishal. And just next to this icon, there is a mobile app icon. If you just click on it, here, either you can download our mobile trading app by going up to the respective Play Store, or you can enter your mobile number here and click on Submit. You will get the link to download the mobile application. Great. So all I do is I enter my mobile number here. Right. I click on Submit. I get the link on my mobile. Right. From where I just download the app and start trading. That's right, Vishal. Also on the previous option, uh, the number that was uh, was available for uh, customers to choose from is double three double five double three double six. Right. You just have to prefix your local city code, your local code, and dial this number, and you get connected to our centralized dealing desk. Great. So now we shall let's quickly see the, our logged in section. Okay. Because I would like to also know how to place an order, how to trade. Right. So for that we just have to click on login. Here we need to enter our username, password, and date of birth. Okay. And if uh, I'm logging in for the first time, <clears throat> the moment I enter my credential, I will get a KYC verification page wherein I just have to confirm my details, my name, my email ID, and my mobile number. Just click on confirm and it will be done. So this KYC page is basically, uh, friends, just an update of uh, all the details that you would have submitted at the time of account opening. This um, has your address, your contact details, all these information. You just have to uh, verify this and uh, click to proceed. Right. And uh, then we move on to this page. Right. So the moment you log in, this is how the logged in section looks like. Uh, so friends, what we see on the on the on the main page is uh, a list of stocks. Now these are basically our watch list. So so we would all be having some favorite stocks that we would want to keep a track of at all the time. So this is our watch list where we can update as many as 30 stocks. We have options of adding as many as five watch lists and each watch list can have 30 stocks. This watch list gives you basically an, a real time update of the stocks, the buy price, the sell price, uh, the, the LTP, the percentage up, uh, percentage change uh, in, the, in the current market today. So it basically gives you a real time update of all the stocks that you would have updated here. Uh, through this, on the left hand side, if you see, 
there is a there is a there is a buy sell option as well so you see a dot on the indian red and it, on the extreme left you will see a dot uh, which also gives you a plus sign so you click on plus and uh, that allows you to buy and uh, click on minus and that takes you to the uh, sell option there is a quick buy sell option on the left hand side of the page here you just enter the uh, uh, the uh, uh, buy sell option you just choose from the buy sell option you choose the exchange that you would want to trade in uh, it's it's normally cash if you're placing a delivery order enter the stock name that you would want to place your order in here we enter hdfc bank and uh, the quantity uh, the, the limit and market option you have this is as a buyer you have the choose you have to choose from either the limit or the market option if you're placing an off market order or even if you're placing the order during the market hours if you have a rate at which you want the execution to happen you you choose limit and uh, mention the uh, rate or you just choose the market order if you're placing the order in the during the market hours and you're okay with the current market price in the in the market so just need to enter the quantity right yes the quantity price and you place your order that's it it's as simple as that yes. right vishal so here vishal i could also see some widgets out here so are can they be editable so uh, basically we have now these uh, widgets are basically to to uh, facilitate uh, uh, the available options that we have you have you can choose from the pick of the week you can choose the uh, the research calls, the trade book, the chart for any particular stock that you would want to. You just have to click on this add widget. There are 12 options that you can choose from. You can change this at any point of time. Uh, NAV watch, major indices, any of your pending orders, uh, your, your portfolio update, research call on your portfolios. Any of these options you choose and it will be on your screen at all point of time when you log in. You can change it from time to time as per your liking. Right. Okay. So moving on from here, uh, we, we, we will first go to the equity option. This is again, uh, we, we show a shortcut to the buy sell option. This is again the same thing. You go to equity, choose buy option, choose the product, choose the option cash and you place your sell order. You can go to the sell option and again choose the option cash to place a sell order. Okay. What is GTD Vishal? Now GTD is one of our latest offerings. And uh, uh, you'll be surprised to know. In fact, in fact, uh, it was as expected. We had many, many investors who actually use this option. Mm -hmm. Now, this uh, can be an option for many of our investors who don't have time uh, in their daily life to be actually watching the market or tracking the market or a particular stock. Mm -hmm. So this is basically an extended limit order, so to say. Uh, and the extension is for up to a month. So you place an order, you quote a rate, and you leave it up. So I'll just take you through that. Here, you will have to choose the exchange as BSC. You choose the company name, uh, whichever company that you would uh, want to choose. We again go with, uh, uh, say, HGFC Bank here. Um, uh, it's a limit order. You put the quantity, you put the price. So this is how the order order screen looks like. You choose a GTD option here, and then you go ahead and place your order. Okay, so this will be valid till uh, the time that has been mentioned here. That's first of July. In this case, yes. So it it is good for 30 days from the date the order is placed. So mm -hmm. this is good till first of July. At any point of time, if you get this rate in the market, the, the order stands to get executed. And uh, what what more? Like like we have this facility of. Uh, uh, sending an intimation via SMS to all our customers uh, or on every execution. Here also there is an SMS sent on um, execution of this order. So that way we are aware that our order is pending or executed. That's really great Vishal. So where can we check this once I have placed the order? Where can I check this? Uh... So you have an order book. So mm -hmm. you can just go to our order book which is again under equity. Okay. And you can you can choose from here. So here you get an update of all your order books, your your pending orders basically. Right. So in case these are executed, you get the uh, option as pending and executed here. So you get an update of all your order status. Right. For sure. yeah. uh, coming coming to mutual fund now. Now after equity, we have many of our customers wanting to place their orders in mutual fund. 
Right, right, yeah. Vishal. So you see here again, we have a, a, a mutual fund purchase, redeem, and create an FSIP. So whichever option that you would like to go for, let's just create an SIP now for our customers. But how would I come to know, Vishal, which scheme should I go for? Yeah. So you you, you see that blink in in red? That's the MFSIP Rekna. Now this is a Rekna that comes in from our research desk. Okay. Now here is an update of all the recommended mutual funds. So for SIP, you have uh, you have a list of uh, Reckoner coming in. Also, if you want to place an order in lump sum, you have a Reckoner there as well. So you can either, if you wish to place an order in in your in the fund of your choice, you may go ahead, or you can just uh, pick one from one of our Reckoners. So 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 let's just see how we place the order. Okay. So here we have uh, picked HDFC Asset Management Company Limited. Mm -hmm. We choose a fund. Uh, uh, so we choose HDFC top uh, 100 top 100 fund. Mm -hmm. you can click on to that. Do a submit. So you put in the amount that you would like to start an SIP for. Say for example, in this case, we uh, start with uh, one lakh. Okay. You choose the option how you, how you want to go ahead, monthly or quarterly. You choose a period you want to go ahead uh, with, uh, with. In this case, we have taken 90 months. The start date. You choose the start date and you place your order. Okay. So it's as simple as that. Right, Vishal. Yeah. So uh, on, under the mutual fund tab, mm -hmm. if you just go on to the right under MF research, you have the, 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 the research advice coming in from our research desk for lump sum orders as well as for our SIP reports. On the right, you have the reports, which gives you a detail of all, all your order book on lump sum and SIP results. Right, Vishal. Great. So with HDFC or AMC, I guess we have some setup that we can do a daily SIP as well. Oh yeah, so this is uh, again our recent edition. So in case we have customers who would want to set up a daily SIP, we have uh, this option as well. Now this is right now only with HDFC mm -hmm. uh, uh, fund management company. Right. So it's as little as 300 rupees. So you can start a daily SIP with. Uh, it goes on to no limit, but the minimum amount is 300 rupees. You can set up a daily SIP. Great. So this will be a best product for me daily SIP to get benefited out of uh, rupee cost averaging on a daily basis. Yes. For investors who would want to have a, a daily SIP setup, we can always go, to, we can always offer this option. Right. Uh, the report and statement just next to mutual fund, there is a report and statement option. Now here you would have all the reports that you would want to, to you would, you would need about your trades, your orders, your ledgers, your contract note. Uh, your, your historic statements, if you want to have the trade details for the last one year or so, all these options are available here. So you can pick, you can pick whatever reports you get. So it's it's a it's a, a huge list of reports that you can you can choose from. Okay. Besides which, you have the IPO and the OFS option as well. Mm -hmm. So in case you want to place an order on the IT, you just select IPO. All the available IPO at this point of time are listed, and you just pick on whichever you want to place an order for. Okay. You have the fixed income category. Here you have corporate entities, bonds, NCDs uh, to choose from if you would want to place your orders. Right. And we do have gold ETFs and index ETFs as well. Right. As well, yeah. So okay. basically, we have all the products that a customers can 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 choose from to to place an order from our portal. Right. Right. It seems like a one-stop solution, Vishal, for all my financial needs. I guess I would say this is the gateway for my wealth creation. Exactly. And uh, uh, as we just saw, it's it's very simple to use. It's very easy to use. It's very user-friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I believe this session was uh, important for, for all our investors to know how simple it is to use. And the multiple options that we offer, the multiple platforms that we offer for our customers to uh, choose uh, to place their orders. Right, Vishal. One, one little thing uh, uh, again. So, mm -hmm. so in case there's any change, uh, on the top right hand side, uh, we have a settings option. Mm -hmm. The center option is the setting option. Here, we give customers the option to change the password in case they would want to change their password or update their contact details like their mobile numbers, uh, direct numbers or their email IDs. So, which, uh, which earlier or in many, many institutions, you have to give a physical application and get these changed. We are we are offering an online uh, online uh, option for customers to just log in and change these details. You also have the option to change your user ID, but that's only a one-time option, mm -hmm. which the customers can use if they wish to. 
here the customer can just log in go to that option and and choose a user id of their choice that's really great vishal now vishal i would also like to know uh, i have purchased something uh, now how can i view that uh, i need to say i would like to have an overview of my holdings so where can i check that good so so the our first option is a portfolio option uh -huh. so if you just go to the portfolio summary mm -hmm. So it gives you a, an update of all your investments and the current uh, uh, value of these holdings. Okay. Yeah. If you move on to equity summary, it will give you an update of all the holdings. Scriptwise, right? Correct. It gives you a scriptwise update of the holdings that you have. All right. Uh, the current market price against your uh, value at cost. So if I want to directly, so say for example, in this particular script, I am incurring loss. I want to exit. How can I sell it right from here, or I have to sell from this panel? No, you, on on from every page that you have. So we we saw the watch list. We uh -huh. saw the DMAT also on the DMAT balance or on the portfolio. Everywhere right. there is a a plus and a minus uh, option. So okay. you see the minus on the red, right? In red and the plus in green. Correct. So you can directly buy or sell your stock okay from to this option all right so the stock details exchange everything is auto populated i just have to enter my quantity whether it's going to be limit or a market and place order that's it right okay. Okay. so Great. so this basically just gives you an overview of of your holdings so for, for any particular stock the stock that you may be holding your average cost price your current market price um, and uh, what profit or loss you're making at this point of time that's really great, Vishal. One little thing. Now, this also gives you an update of the mutual fund summary. If you just go on to mm -hmm, mutual right. fund summary, it gives a similar update of your holdings in mutual fund. Right. Again, you can do a buy sell right from that page. Mm -hmm. That's great, Vishal. Okay. Uh, the the the. Now, uh, one thing I would like to know, Vishal. I sure, would also sure. like to know. Uh, I have purchased. I have sold. Now, what is my profit? What is my loss? Or for uh, sometimes, you know, uh, in order to do, do a tax filing, I require a capital gain statement. So, can I get that as well out here? So, on the portfolio, you have we we saw the summary option, which gave us a portfolio summary on equal equity and mutual fund. Right. Uh, next to it gives you the DMAT holdings. On your equity and mutual funds mm -hmm. next to it is your statement option right now your statement option gives you an update of the capital gain made for the last whatever number of years you just have to choose a financial year mm -hmm. and uh, and it gives you an update of the short term and the long term profit or loss that you would have made this that's you can you can always refer for your uh, tax returns that's really great Vishal. Quite we also have a profit and loss statement there so mm -hmm. we have various statements for a customer to choose from to analyze his holdings okay. and to move forward. That's really great, Vishal. The, the, the last thing that we would also want to cover is if you go under equity option, mm -hmm. there is a DIY SIP. Right. The second option, start DIY SIP. Okay. What is okay. DIY SIP exactly? Uh, it's do it yourself SIP. Okay. Now we've heard of mutual fund SIP where we have a regular, regular contribution coming at regular intervals mm -hmm. from our in investors. DIY SIP allows you to do the same with stocks. Okay. So if I have if I have to make an option or if I have to make a purchase of a select number of stocks, say for example five HDFC Bank and uh, 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 two stocks of Reliance, mm -hmm. I can make a create a basket of this, set a trigger date of say fifth of every month. Okay. So I can I can do it by amount or I can do it with quantity as well, right? You have both the options. Okay. So either you either you pick an option of say amount, so you would want these stocks to be purchased worth five thousand every month. Okay. So as per the CMP at that point of time, as per the cash market price at that point of time, mm -hmm. it will buy shares worth five thousand okay. every month. And say if you set a trigger date of fifth of every month, fifth will be the date that it will execute your order. Alternatively, you can choose a quantity option and and, and choose select the number of shares that you number want of shares so for example i want to buy five shares every day i can do that as well right yeah so you can choose five and uh, set a trigger date and on every trigger you will have five shares of that company uh, being bought so is it like can i do only for one particular script or can i add the uh, number of scripts in you that? can so you have a list of options here so you can have as many as 10 stocks to buy from oh one, okay in, in one basket and you can create multiple baskets so you have the frequency here uh -huh. option where you can go monthly fortnightly weekly or even daily all right uh, next to it is the the tenure of the SIP. okay so, so this is one option where many of our long-term investors uh, uh, 
uh, go for and, and there are many customers who have actually registered for this. Again, here, if you're confused with which stocks to pick, mm -hmm. you have a reckoner here which says value picks. Okay. This is also coming in from our research desk. All right. Who with a long-term horizon, uh, list out these stocks that can be invested. Right, right, right. So now we shall, um, I'm done with what to buy by checking your research section. Okay. I'm done with how to buy the placing of the order and I have also seen uh, my portfolio that is the view of the my current holding right but I would like to know what actions to be taken I mean to say how my portfolio is doing or kind of a you know a health checkup for our portfolio so I guess we have something called as portfolio clinic for that right so it's a wonderful option to many of our customers right in fact to all of our customers so you just go on to portfolio under portfolio clinic mm -hmm. This will list out all your holdings, okay. which is checked by our research desk uh -huh. and they give their view on it. Okay, so I can so, see there so are three case, options. Yeah, so in this case you have something called a uh, strict uh, script called Manipuram Finance Limited mm -hmm. and uh, you, you, you hold around 75 stocks and our research recommendation is that you accumulate. Okay. So this gives you an overview of all the an idea on whether to accumulate more in case the stock is not doing good mm -hmm. you are given an alternative stock to pick from so in this case we have uh, we have uh, Wipro and uh, an alternative pick suggested is HSL Technologies Limited. Okay so I can see upside out here I can see the research report as well. Okay. Right. So the so obviously the choice is always yours uh -huh. but uh, we suggest you alternatives uh, for you to pick from. Okay all right and what is this last section, Vishal? Value picks. Okay. So I guess this is based on uh, your portfolio, what you have. These are the recommendations by our research team. Correct. Okay. Great. So in case for customers who don't have a privilege, uh, Ashish, mm -hmm. uh, say in where case, can I check the privilege? Exactly, I was uh, coming to that. Mm -hmm. So in case a customer wants to wants to go ahead and uh, place orders in derivatives, mm -hmm. or if he wants to enable his derivative privilege, mm -hmm. or uh, say for some of the accounts where the MF privilege, mutual fund privilege, is not available, Ashish, how do we go? About? Sure. See, first of all, you can check from this logged in section what are the privileges currently you have. So here, this is the option wherever you go. This option is always available in any page you go. My privileges, this is at the bottom, right? So you just have to click on it, okay? The moment you click on my privileges, you get to know what are the privileges which are active. So you can see NAC equity is allowed, BAC equity is allowed, MF, BAC and NAC allowed. So what However, you we can have see not done is we have not registered for derivatives. derivatives right. So, so now what do I, I have to go and fill in the application and go to the branch and, and do something like this? Absolutely no, Vishal. Now we are going digital. So both of these options of activating privilege, whether it is mutual funds or derivatives is available online. Okay. I will just guide you through how you can, how you have to do for the same, right? So that's, you have to just go to our pre-logged in section. That's www.hdfcsec.com. So we are back on our homepage. That's right. You have to go on products. Under that, you can see various products. So if you want to activate mutual funds privilege, you have to, you can see the last option as MF privilege. Okay. You just have to click on it. Click on activate now. Accept the terms, Accept and, conditions. The terms and conditions. Proceed, just enter your credentials and you are done about it. Within 24 working hours, your privilege will be activated. It's as simple as that. Right. And same goes with derivative products. Go under derivatives, derivative privilege. However, in derivative privilege, apart from accepting terms and condition as per the norm, you have to upload one of your income document as well. You upload the income document and proceed, submit. Okay. That's all. So friends, what, what, what happens here is we have 18 options. So there are 18 options or documents you choose from mm -hmm. while you are uh, enabling your derivative privilege. You just have to pick any one from the option given of 18 documents, upload this document and you're registered for derivative. Okay. That's as simple as that. That's really fantastic. Okay. So, so for uh, anybody who would have any questions or clarity or queries, you can just uh, uh, leave a message. It would be greater or it would be nicer if you leave your uh, mobile number as well or your contact number. So in case we are not able to uh, respond to you immediately. We will contact you and uh, help you with your questions. That's right, Vishal. 
Okay. So we move on to our uh, mobile app now. Just, okay. just give us a few seconds. We'll just switch on to our mobile app. Okay. So while we switch, I, I have a question. Uh, uh, now what is asked is, uh, what is NCash option? Now under NCash, mm -hmm. we have uh, we have BSC, we have uh, NSC, and we have the NCash option. So here is an option where where a customers can uh, uh, this option a customer can choose from in case the payout settlement needs to be done earlier than the settled time. Our our payout cycle is T plus two, which is trading day plus two business days. Mm -hmm. So in case uh, in case uh, we need the funds to be credited uh, on the same day, we allow this option for our customers to choose. In cash, will allow the credit to happen on the same day. So in case you're selling some stocks and you're in urgent need of uh, funds, you can just choose that option, and the fund payout uh, fund payout gets credited the same day. We have a question which says, uh, can I change the user ID? We just uh, took you through that. Settings is an option that we have on the top right hand side. Yes, you can change the user ID, but that's just a once in a lifetime option that you have. You cannot change this more than once. So yes, you can go ahead and change the, change the password, sorry, the user ID, but you won't get another option too. So it, it can only be done once. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what if I forget my username? Uh, so so uh, we have a forgot username option just under the authentication option. Here you can just enter the uh, uh, detail like your uh, PAN number and your date of birth. You enter your PAN number and your date of birth. There will be an OTP sent to you. You just mention the OTP and the user ID displays on the screen. So for customers who uh, missed to update their or for you forgotten your user ID, this is the option you use. Right. Okay. Now uh, moving on, we will continue to take your questions. So you can uh, you can write in with your questions. We will come back to you. Meanwhile, we take you on to our uh, mobile app. I guess. Yes, so as I said, you just have to go to your respective Play Store and type HDFC Securities mobile trading app. This is how the app it will look alike. And you can see that at present we have more than 5 lakh customers who have downloaded this app and who are using this application. Okay, so you just have to click on it, install it and this is how the icon will appear on your home screen right you just have to click on it and enter your you it will if you are using it for the first time uh, French then it will ask you to enter your mobile number and click next you will get a OTP just verify the OTP and you will get the access to our HDFC securities mobile trading app. you can enter the login credentials that's user ID password and your date of birth and you will be good to go with our mobile application now this is how after you have logged in this is how the mobile application looks okay so Michelle can you brush us through what are the options available on this mobile trading app so on the home page it gives you uh, the market update on the nifty and the sensex it gives you an update on the top gainers and the losers and the recently viewed stocks right now for customers who want to have an update on or an on-the-go update on uh, uh, their selected few stocks we have something called as a watch list so we shall now this will be a different watch list or the watch list that I have created on the login portal website it will be the same oh so, so you don't have to create multiple watch list on both the both the platforms mm -hmm. you will have the watch list uh, same as you've updated on your on the, on the website great so it's auto synced yeah yeah 
however if you want to transact so in case you want to buy or sell from any of these you will have to log in right okay so so the best part is you don't have to log in to check your watch list you can just tap your app uh -huh. move on to watch list and here's your list of stocks right okay so let me just log in quickly oh and by the way uh, the top right hand option that you see is the alert option uh -huh. so in case there are any new updates on the product or any new offering from our research desk uh -huh. this is where it shows so in case you've uh, relied or you've gone with gone ahead with any of the research uh, recommendations earlier and if say we have an exit call of, uh, say if the target is achieved uh -huh. we get the option there on the alert so basically you don't have to try we give you the option to or we give we update you with the uh, with the status on the call that we have right so are you able to log in yes we have logged in vishal so now uh, from here also how will i get to know what to buy i, I can i uh, will i for pick of the week uh, will i get a notification out here yeah so like i said the the alert option on the top right hand will keep we'll keep pumping information on the product uh, on the market and also on our research recommendation so mm -hmm. that will continue to come see here it is right our technical picks our fundamental picks or our uh, uh, pick of the week which comes in every monday and each time there is a target achieved like like in this case we have achieved a target and there is an update for you so that you can go ahead and uh, place your sell order right so i can i will be much informed if i have this mobile application absolutely and and what more you are you are uh, on the go it is it is uh, in your pocket all the time True. and the update is uh, coming to you whenever uh, it needs to be sent to you okay so if i just click on trade from actionables if i click it from notification if i click on trade so it will immediately open a sell panel for me right because the target is achieved i can book the profit exactly so you are on the buy sell page you can execute your order right away correct so i just need to put across the again it is details are auto populated just have to select the exchange product and just quantity and buy that's it right correct great so what else we shall do we get on this mobile application so yeah uh, so we uh, so the trade button that you see mm -hmm. the second last option right okay this is our buy sell panel the buy sell page you can okay. you can uh, choose the exchange you can uh, choose your transaction whether it's a buy or a sell mm -hmm. uh, put in the quantity Uh, we again have the limit order market order option like we had on our website right put in the quantity the price and you're done with your order it is as simple as this correct so here also do do i get access to your research or i have to use the website itself you have access to our research at all point of time if you are a customer with us uh, mm -hmm. you move on to the bottom right option more mm -hmm. yes scroll up under portfolio you have an option which is research right the research option gives you an update on the uh, on the research coming in from equity and derivative mm -hmm. and mutual fund right so i can see this section so can, and i can take my decision you can check your pick of the week so the fundamental tech uh, picks the technical picks uh, the status of the call what is the potential upside on these stocks and right. you can go ahead and take your call okay that's that's something interesting okay and okay. what options we have here on the portfolio option if you go to our portfolio option which is also available on the bottom of the screen mm -hmm. you get uh, like it was on our website it gives you a summary of your holdings mm -hmm. it gives you an update on on uh, your your uh, the average purchase price so it gives you a stock wise update the average purchase price and the uh, vis a vis a current market price so it gives you a fair idea on whether you are making a profit or loss on each of the stock right okay yeah. so all i have to do is i have two options one by go clicking on more and go to portfolio or just in the bottom line itself this portfolio section is there right yes okay all right okay so against this more again if you have uh, any ipo orders or mutual fund orders to be placed you can go to our more option uh -huh. here you have ipo you have mutual fund and it will it will uh, it will show you the existing ipos available you can go ahead and punch your order on any of the ipos of, of your choice uh, same with the mutual fund uh -huh. just above ipo right okay here again you have purchase order purchase redeem uh, order book sip order book 
NAV watch list again there's a there's a watch list for, for your NAVs also for any of your favorite funds or the funds that you're holding uh, you also have a create MFSIP option okay so if, in case you want to place an SIP order here you can you can click onto it choose the fund the tenure the trigger date and the amount and you're on with our SIP okay so if you click on purchase this is very much need based requirement that I could see here whether I'm looking for high risk high return scheme or I'm looking for low risk good return scheme exactly Ashish so basically what it shows is all, all the category of funds that you would want to right. uh, basis your risk appetite correct and uh, and you can choose it from choose from any of these so you click onto any of this even if you would want to go for a tax saving scheme you can just click onto it and it will give you a list of all the tax saving scheme that is available on our platform Okay, that's okay. something interesting. And, and guess what? You also have a recommendation on this. So any of the any of these funds, which are which are also uh, backed by our uh, research desk, mm -hmm. will show here. You uh, so for every every option here, you have a reckoner, which comes in from uh, from our uh, research desk. Okay, that's great. So then we have, I guess, news option, accounts option. From here also, I guess uh, I can change. I can I can update my mobile number as well as email ID by clicking on profile and edit KYC, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. That's right. So basically, uh, this is uh, all about uh, our uh, mobile app. Uh, Ashish, uh, mm -hmm. that covers more or less everything about our mobile app. True, that's right. That's right, Vishal. In fact, in this section also, as, as we are discussing today, uh, the basics that how to use this application and what are the various information available right we have helped our investors our customers to go through with that right in fact i would also like to inform them in this mobile application itself there is a video section okay this itself is an exhaustive uh, learning material what you can say vishal right here we have divided various uh, we have uploaded various videos in terms of research wherein we give updates in under the learn section we have a lot of learning videos and the various interesting topics that comes up and under the demo section, we have uploaded those videos, which are basically how to place the orders kind of. So, so if uh, if you want a rerun on what we just did, you can always refer this option and uh, play any of the videos for you to get a just a, a revision on, on what we just did at any point of time. Right. So while we have a good number of questions coming in, mm -hmm. we may not be able to attend to all of them yeah but what we what we commit to do is we will be responding to each one of the customer each one of you on the questions raised we would we would uh, request you all to please also leave your mobile number your contact number for us to uh, contact you for right us to contact uh, and update you on your uh, on your queries yeah right. so we'll be happy to receive as many questions as possible one very important question that is coming in from many of our customers i would like to just address this one please uh, how do i change my password now this is something we missed while we were giving a demo uh, customers who have not been able to or who do not recollect the password or are making some mistakes in in uh, uh, entering the password you have a change password or a forgot password option just below the password icon you need to click on that you enter your customer id and your login id so you enter your login id and your customer id yeah, that's your username and your bank customer ID. It will take you to the uh, to another page which will ask you for your net banking password. Uh -huh. Once you authenticate with your net banking password, it will allow you it will allow you an option to create your own password. It's as simple as that. However, if you're not having a net banking password, you can always call in or write in to us. 39019400 is our customer care number. Uh, customer care at the rate stfcsec.com is our email ID. You can write on to us. We will dispatch a physical password to your registered address. Right, Michelle. Okay. So thank you all for being with us. Uh, I hope this session has helped. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Thanks, so uh, we will be uh, back again with many more such sessions uh, for you to uh, take advantage of and uh, take help from this. Please continue to write to us. Thank you.